Hey guys, it's Whips here, back with another video, and today we're going to be looking to do the hardest items to unlock in Sea of Thieves. But real quick here, 96% of you guys are not subscribed. I also want to mention that thanks button down by the like button. It means the world. Some of you guys have actually already donated, and I know I said I'd be including your names at the end of the videos, but for some reason, I don't know if it's a privacy setting or something, but it's not showing your name. So make sure that you are showing your name so I can give you your credit. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. Now starting us off strong, a lot of you probably didn't even know this was in the game, but this is actually going to be the legendary Seafarer's Hat. Now basically how you're going to unlock this is you're going to look into Captaincy, and you're going to have to max out 8 of the different combinations. Now there's multiple different combinations, which makes this somewhat doable, but some of these are really hard, like the feared, and just random stuff like drinking on your ship, who wants to do this? But basically once you max out 8 of these, you will be able to unlock this hat. Moving forward, this is actually something that I've been thinking since the beginning of the game. When I first loaded in, I remember playing with these guys, and they literally had everything in the game. They had the gold curse, which at the time seemed impossible to get, and they had the legendary cannons. Now, these cannons are absolutely insane to get. This is something that I still don't have to this day, and I play Sea of Thieves all the time. Now, basically, what you're going to have to do here is you're going to have to kill 500 skeleton ships. Kill is probably not the word. Sink. 500 skeleton ships and this is just a tough combination because for a while there skeleton ships weren't even able to spawn in there was a big glitch and obviously nobody really wants to do these no matter where you're at in the game so if you're doing a steal or if you're at pve nobody really wants to run in these so it's very rare that people actually have these and when they do it's probably specifically for a grind and congratulations you have something that is very hard to unlock now, sort of sticking with that theme of stuff that I don't have, this is actually going to be Legendary Hunter of the Sea of Thieves. Now, this is just a title, but the fact that all of the pain that you are going to go through to get this title is insane because you would have to do all of the hunting accommodations in Sea of Thieves. So if you go into the Hunter's Call, yes, you have to do all those accommodations. This is absolutely ridiculous. It's for a title that does look pretty clean, but I'm more of a fan of the shorter titles, so this is why I personally have not targeted this, but it's definitely something that if you want to complete everything, this is going to be in your way, blocking your path. But like I said, if you have this, congratulations, you have one of the hardest things to unlock in the game. Now this next one is especially hard because yes at the time it was but now it's even harder because it's not in the game and basically we're going to be focusing on Captain Flameheart's fleet. Now yes there's a handful of different combinations within this but the two that we're going to be focusing on are the ones that are required to unlock the Burning Blade sails and the Cursed Captain sails. Basically how you're going to do this is you're either going to sink Captain Flameheart's ship 20 times for the Flameheart sails and then for the Cursed Captain you're just going to sell 50 of these Captain Skulls. Now this is really tough because obviously this event is no longer in the game so you're going to have to specifically go to the order of souls and do these quests so if you have these congratulations especially if you did it before it got vaulted then you got pretty lucky here but this is something that is definitely a grind Moving forward, this is actually one of my favorite sets within the game, and this is actually going to be the Silent Barnacle. Now with this, you're also going to get the Bristling Barnacle, and these are all reskins of the Wailing Barnacle, which is one of the most popular sets within the game. But basically, how you're going to do this is you're either going to go to shipwrecks, go to random islands, or just purely kill skeleton ships. Why do I keep saying that? Sink skeleton ships. And basically, you're going to unlock this Bristling Barnacle or Silent Barnacle set by selling 300 shipwreck chests. So this is very difficult. Definitely is going to require a grind. The good thing is, is you can kind of target this as well as the skeleton ships and unlocking those cannons as well so they kind of go hand in hand but it's something that's very very challenging and if you have these congratulations i will give myself a pat on the back these next ones are actually going to be a combination, I think because they're both equally as hard to get, kind of like the Silent Bristling, but basically this is going to be within the Sea of Thieves community, so we're looking at the Deckhand Sails and the Golden Hour Sails. Now basically how you're going to unlock the Deckhand Sails is you're just going to have to be a moderator, whether it's on the Sea of Thieves Discord or within the forums, and then for the Golden Hour, really all you're going to do is just submit a picture and get picked. So these are both kind of lucky. One of them, you know, you're kind of a high-valued player within the community. The other one, honestly, you're probably a content creator and you've been somewhere within the Sea of Thieves community. So these are both equally as hard to get and really, I believe this is my first time shouting them out on this channel. So yeah, shout out to them and here we go. This next one I've actually previously made a video on. It's called the Most Forgotten Endgame Reward in Sea of Thieves. Go check it out. I might go put it up in the corner here. But basically, we're looking at the Legendary Pocket Watch and Spyglass. This is absolutely insane and a grind that I am so glad I did. Basically, what you're going to have to do is you are going to have to deliver in the most perfect condition 500 of the bottles plants or cloth and as pirate legends so this just gets harder and harder it's something that's very challenging definitely rewarding though and i definitely flex it all the time and if you guys have it congratulations 
Next up, I think this one's pretty self-explanatory, but it's me the Legendary Ghost and Golden Skeleton Curse. If you have this, congratulations. I think the reason why this is on this list is just because it's so early into this. I know it's level 1000, it's been out for a while, but this is insane, and all the different combinations that come with it. Congratulations. I want to know, do any of you guys have these curses? Let me know in the comments below. Um, but anyways, let's move on. Next up, I actually want to talk about the Gold Hoarder weapons. Now these are pretty tough just because they are relatively recent and they are going to require a grind and I don't think they're the best looking weapons so why would you do this? But this is going to be the Gold Hoarder weapons, basically just doing the vaults. You guys can look into these. Um, it's just kind of a grind in itself because why would you want these? I do think they look decent but I definitely think there's better options within the game so if you have these congratulations. Definitely a grind that I eventually want to get to um, once I get to that point but for right now I think I'm good with the legendary ones. And next up, yet again, another self-explanatory one. This is actually going to be the Sapphire Blade set. Basically, to get this, you're going to have to be playing Insider for about three years. Now, this is something that I don't have, and I don't think I ever will have, just because the more I wait, the less motivated I get. So congratulations, you've been playing this game for a really long time. You are someone who cares about the game. Like I said, congratulations, because not a lot of people have this. If you see this player on the seas, be careful. They definitely know what they're doing. And like I said, just congratulations. And with that, that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. It means the world. Like I mentioned, that thanks button, it seriously just goes the extra mile. And I want to thank each and every single one of you guys who do that. Let me know down in the comments what do you think about this. Is this a W list? Um, the support recently has been insane. Thank you guys so much. Take it easy. Peace.